most fiscally conservative House members who normally vote as a block, and now the president is publicly calling them out. In fact, tweeting this, the Freedom Caucus will hurt the entire Republican agenda if they don't get on the team and fast. We must fight them and Dems in 2018. Now, the president's social media director, Dan Scavino, also tweeted this today. The president is bringing auto plants and jobs back to Michigan. Congressman Justin Amash is a big liability. Hashtag Trump train. Defeat him in primary. Former Chief of Staff and Senator Ted Cruz and direct, first Senator Ted Cruz and the director of the Center for the Tenth Amendment Action at the Texas Public Policy Foundation, Chip Roy, is joining us now. Chip, it seems a little unusual, to say the least, for the president to call for members of his own party to lose, but could it work? Well, Anna, I, I think that the uh, president is right to be frustrated. He's right. He's been calling Obamacare a mess for a long time. And the problem is, is that the mess that he inherited isn't just the policy. It's also that the GOP leadership, after seven years of promising that they're going to repeal Obamacare, has now put forth a solution that doesn't actually repeal Obamacare. And the Freedom Caucus is the one group in Washington who's standing up and honoring their commitment to the, that they made to the voters and their constituents to actually fully repeal it. And what's really interesting to me is that for all of the talk of the Freedom Caucus, nobody's talking about the Tuesday group, the, so -called, uh, the group of so-called moderates who, uh, without whom, this bill cannot get through, and who have now drawn a line in the sand with Chris Collins, one of its members, saying they won't even pick up the phone to listen to the House Freedom Caucus uh, to uh, negotiate with them, which that's really, I think, where the, where the ire should be directed, which is to the House leadership and to the uh, Tuesday group. We did see a member of the House Freedom Caucus leave the group, essentially saying, I can do more work on behalf of my constituents by working with the rest of the Republicans in Congress, in, in the House. Uh, do you expect that we'll see more people leaving the Freedom Caucus? Well, I don't think so. I think you've got a large block of members in the House Freedom Caucus who are honoring their commitment to they made to their constituents. Uh, again, I think they ought to be asking the question is of the Tuesday group, is why is it that if you need their votes to get to the bill, to get the bill across the line, why shouldn't we be focused on them? Uh, this bill, if you think about Obamacare, Obamacare is built on Medicaid expansion, uh, subsidies, and on regulations. And if you think about what the AHCA, the so-called Republican alternative, does, it maintains those expanded, uh, expanded Medicaid, uh, maintains the subsidies, and in fact expands the subsidies, and keeps the regulations in place that are driving up the cost of health care. The American people are clamoring for lower cost health care, lower cost insurance premiums. The only way to get that is to actually reduce the regulations, increase the competition in the market, and allow the market to drive down the cost. I think the president actually gets that. He's had great conversations with members of the Freedom Caucus. He's continuing to have conversations, and he's having conversations with members of the Tuesday group as well. What the American people want is leadership from Washington, and they're not getting it. The House leadership hmm. is known for months that they were going to need to come up with a solution, and instead they put forward a bill that does not actually repeal Obamacare, and they're being disingenuous by saying that it does. Okay, let's, let's put Obamacare and health care aside. I mean, I think the bigger issue, which you hit the nail on the head, was uh, nothing's happening. Nothing has changed in Washington. The frustration that people on all sides of the aisle have felt for years is, is continuing. How does this president move forward his agenda, not just on health care, but issues like tax reform on infrastructure with the current dynamics within his own party? Sure. Look, the, the right way for this to go forward is for the president to reach out to all parties and try to work to get to a principle-based solution. What should have happened with Obamacare is that you start with a true repeal bill, get it through the House, and then work through the Senate procedures. And when you've got to work compromises to get the bill through, then you start doing that. But instead of starting with a bill that the House leadership gave him, which was doomed to fail, uh, you need to go back to the basics and go back to a repeal bill. He can work and, and work together with the Republican Party, and he can bring them together in a way that House leadership can't. But if he so wants to truly So is the Freedom Caucus the... willing to compromise as well? Absolutely. And in fact, the House Freedom Caucus is the one group in Washington who, who I believe has been honestly trying to reach across uh, and, and try to make a deal and work with the president and with House leadership. Uh, it's not the House Freedom Caucus whose membership is saying we're no longer going to pick up the phone. And in fact, maybe even to a fault. 
the House Freedom Caucus is willing to accept possibly expanded subsidies. We're talking about some of the uh, uh, Medicaid expansion that could stay in place, but really wanted to just draw a line in the sand on the regulations that are driving up the cost for their constituents and are causing premiums to increase. So, the Chip, Republican I know you Party align yourself mostly with the, the viewpoint of the Freedom Caucus, but real quickly, sure. I mean, should the Democrats be brought into the conversation as well? Well, <clears throat> and of if course you, think you have not, conversations. Why not? Well, of course you should have conversations with all of the members of Congress. Uh, but what one thing that you have to keep in mind is that the Republican Party is going to get absolutely decimated. Uh, it will be their absolute, it will be suicide if they don't get back to the drawing board and repeal Obamacare. For four straight election cycles, they have gone to the people saying they were going to do it, and now they're putting forward a bill that doesn't do it. Yes, you can work with Democrats on a host of different issues where they're willing to come across the aisle. We're seeing that happen right now with Neil Gorsuch's confirmation over in the okay. Senate, where we're finding well, uh, Man uh, we'll Senator see. Manchin, Sen Senator uh, Heitkamp are willing to reach across the aisle. So there, there are solutions that can be reached, but you've got to go back to the principles that, that you campaigned on and, and adhere to them. All right, Chip Roy, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Donna, thank you.